I take you back then mm. to that first meeting with Ronnie? So right. when he came okay. in mm. and she said, that's Ronnie. Morose. And, and there was a different atmosphere suddenly mm. in the house. Was there ever a time you went out with him and, and do you actually witnessed any violence? Not violence, because right. when I went out with him to the Asta um, and to the Colony Club, I went with the mother. Right. That was another thing, the so first you time seen... that I was invited out. She said, oh, can Maureen come on Friday? I thought, come on Friday? I'm never going to ever get out on Friday night, ever, ever, with the husband. Mm -hmm. and then I thought for a moment, oh, my husband goes out on Friday nights with the boys. Right. I could always say I'm going to someone's house. Um, I'll clue up the girl um, to say that I was there. And um, that's how I got out. Um, I, dre I could put the dress on because he thought I was going somewhere nice with the girl, right. with the girls. Right. So I put on the lovely dress, the hair was piled up in those days, you know, with the French pleat and the yeah. curls on top, the earrings, everything was nice, but I stuffed, I had a little mink bolero and I rolled that up and I stuffed that in a bag. Because you'd think, well, she's not going to someone's house. With the that, the, yeah. the dress was okay. Mm -hmm. When I got to Mrs. Crow, she had this beautiful blue dress on. That was her favourite colour, and it was Ronnie's favourite colour. And she had this beautiful first doll. I said, Violet, look at you. You look like a film star. Where'd you get that doll? She said, Ronnie bought it for me last week. Because he knew he was taking me out today. I said, where are we going? She said, we're going to the Asta. Well, I'd heard about the Asta from brother-in-laws right um and i thought oh god oh, how am i gonna say where i was or if you're I'm, seen if i mustn't seen. get in any photographs or, yeah. seen or whatever but yeah. anyway i got brave and i went you know but as we came out of the house there was three cars i you know i held her arm she had a little step i held her arm and i went to go he said no 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 reggie said not that car and sort of pushed me I said, oh, thinking I've got to go in a different car. Right. So they moved forward to the first car. And so I said, oh, where are we? She said, we go in the second car. So I said, oh, okay. So when I got in the second car, I got in with Albert Donahue. Right. That's the first time I ever met Albert Donahue. Um, he was Reggie's man. Mm -hmm. um, and I thought, I said, Albert, why, it's a great big car, you know, why aren't we... He said, um, and if you think back to the film The Godfather, which came out yeah. all these years later, they travelled in different cars, the brothers, yeah, didn't they? Yeah. they? Because in case it was um, attacked or ambushed or whatever you want to call it, the mother uh, is not with them in the right, front car. Right. I couldn't believe it. I, I thought, oh, my God, this really sounds like gangsters. Right. And I'd read a lot of books. I'm a reader as you can see. Um, Were you worried? And I thought, oh, well, I'm in the second car. I'm with her. Nothing's going to happen to me. We're with the, the bodyguard. Yeah. We had the Albert Donahue. You know, there's um, Bender. Ronnie Bender was driving. That's the first time I'd met him. And you felt looked after and yes. protected. We got to the Astor world. I could have been Princess Diana. She could have been the Queen. Really? The maitre d', the two doormen, Oh, hello, Ron. Hello, Reg. Oh, hello, Mrs. Cray. Didn't call her Violet. Yeah. Hello, Mrs. Cray. How are you? She said, this is Maureen. I'm nodding. And in we walk. Then we see the maitre d' and he took us to our table, which was marvellous. There's a singer. Yeah, yeah. And there's like a little sort of four or five piece band. Oh, And amazing. it was beautiful. You know, all little gilt edged chairs and that oh. dreadful, what we call now, flock wallpaper yeah yeah the height of you know, fashion but don't forget we're in the 60s the yeah. carpet is red and plushed and the little seats on the chairs are red but all gilt edged and um i sat down at this table and it was the first time in my life i felt this is how you feel if you're a film star really it was that glamorous this is how or if you're royalty, this must be how you're treated when you walk into a place. People bowing it's and scraping, scraping and finding you, is that chair, is it this way you'd like to sit, Mrs. Cray? She said, no, I like to sit this side. You know, oh, okay. And, and everybody is... Were they nervous? Were people nervous around them? Well, some remember that some people in the club were, were customers. Yeah. You know, um, patrons, as we called them in those days. 
they were there every week, I suppose. Right. Well, you, they'd look and think, oh, who's this coming in, in case it was somebody famous. Yeah. But then as I went more and to other places with them, I got to know that people used to go. Oh, really? <laughs> then they'd know, but right. not that first time. I just felt very, it, very important. <laughs> so so their, their business mm. life, obviously they buy these clubs. Was it, was it, it sounds very opulent, very glamorous, like something that you would see in the old movies, mm. a world away from what they were doing on, obviously, obviously on the other side. The scenes. So what, yes. what Violet was seeing was this beautiful, glamorous life. These are my sons. People being, mm. uh, treating her sons with complete respect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, we never talk about Charlie. Poor Charlie. He um, came out with us sometimes. Did, sometimes he bought Dolly, the wife, but right. they didn't like her.